AI models are getting better every day and thus the systems built on top of them are also improving. One of the best use cases we see with AI is UI generation. However, before we generate that UI, we need to finalize the design and that's where iteration plays a key part. These AI systems also get improved through new tools and functionalities. We can take task lists as an example. Every AI coding agent uses them now. Well, what if I told you that today I found an MCP server that brings a really interesting Interesting design feature. So this is the MCP server that I found. It's called Web2 MCP and basically it gives you a Chrome extension that lets you send any website component to cursor or Claude code and have it coded out. We're going to combine this with another tool that helps you with UI iteration so you could make your own design studio where you could generate and replicate designs whenever you get any inspiration from the web. Now, a quick break to tell you about today's sponsor, Rocket.new the platform that lets you build a million dollar app with just one prompt. Tired of low code tools where you spend more time debugging than building? Rocket.new changes that. Just describe your idea, pick frameworks, select features, and hit submit. No endless prompts, no stitching together UI, backend, or design. Rocket.new handles it all. It connects to Figma to instantly turn designs into a live website. It links with GitHub for smooth version control. With its visual edit mode, you can visually pick any section of your site and update it instantly. Modular editing made simple. In 10 to 15 minutes, you get a production-ready app with dashboards, analytics, support, and more. One-click deployment to platforms like Netlify makes launch effortless, and if something breaks, Rocket.new fixes it automatically. If you're a Vibe coder, founder, or developer, Rocket.new is your new website genie. Click the link and start building today. I thought the idea behind this was really good because before this, we've also featured a tool called Stage wise which had a different use case where you actually coded stage by stage on your own and then you could click the elements to send them to Claude code or cursor. The idea behind Web2 MCP is that you can send any component from any website directly to your AI tool. Now the thing is that this is paid but there is a free version as well. I've experimented with it so far. I've cloned about 10 components and haven't hit a limit yet but even with the pro pricing it's two dollars and fifty cents per month which gives you unlimited component captures. At first I thought thought I could go ahead and maybe find an open source version of this, and I actually did. It's called MCP Pointer, and it does the same thing but I actually coded out some stuff from both of them. So this, as you can see right here, is the Gumroad component I captured from the site. This is the component implemented by the open source version, and this is the one implemented by Web2 MCP. I wasn't really satisfied with the result of the open source version. I tried searching for more, but I couldn't find anything open source that was as good as this, because this looks spot on, except for the check marks, which is probably because of the system prompt implemented in the second tool we're using. The second tool I'm using is superdesign.dev. It actually tells it to use certain color schemes and also a particular CSS library, which is why it wasn't able to replicate the design one-to-one. -one. When I tried it without the prompt, it cloned the component as it is. Even though the result wasn't good, I'll still leave the links in the description below so you can check them out. Since this is a paid service, you're required to log in with your account. Once that's done, the second step is installing the Web2 MCP browser extension. You'll install it for whatever browser you're using. In my case, I'm using Arc, so I would be adding it there. Once that's done, you'll get your MCP configuration. Your MCP configuration includes a specific token tied to your account, which is needed for authentication. You have the cursor config and the Claude command as well. One thing I like is that they don't give a configuration for Claude. They just give you the command you need to run. You simply go to your terminal, paste it, and it installs the MCP for that Claude project. What I really like about Super Design is the canvas view, where you can actually open up your designs and see how they were made. It's a simple extension. All you have to do is search Super Design and install it. For initializing the Claude prompt, you have to open your command panel with Command Shift P. Here, you'll get the option to initialize Super Design. This will place some rule files inside your repository. You can delete the rest of them, but you'll get rule files for Cursor, Windsurf, and also this Claude.md file. I've modified this Claude.md because I had to change the workflow. As I told you that the 
the old one was causing problems with the one-to-one -one cloning implementation. I'll provide the modified Claude.md in the resources as well. Now, moving on to the actual workflow of how to use Super Design to generate designs from any inspiration. The first thing is to find some good inspiration. I tried searching for it, but in my opinion, it's just a random chance that you come across a site with a good design. Most of the sites I use rely on Shadsian components, and honestly, they all look alike except for the colors. Anyway, I wanted to demonstrate the workflow, so make sure that the design you copy or the inspiration you get has some sort of uniqueness to it. Otherwise, they all all just look like Shad CN. This one looks a little different, that's why I came to Linear. First, open your extensions, go to Web2 MCP and click on the Capture Element button. As you move your cursor around, it will highlight different elements. I'm going to select this whole element. It's going to capture it and bring up a small menu. When you have the MCP connected, the agent understands what component you're referencing via the reference ID. You can see that I pasted in the prompt right here. Super Design is initiated here and my custom prompt is also initiated here. When I give it the prompt, it matches the reference ID because I modified the Claude.md file, it's now going to implement it as a one-to-one -one clone, except for the icons, because I specified that it should not copy app icons, only the UIs. Other icons such as arrows and commonly used icons will be represented as they are, but other than that, it will capture both the HTML reference and a screenshot. Once it has both, it clones it. Because Super Design is connected, you'll be able to view it right there. We have a one-to-one -one clone except for the icons, and the UI is preserved as it is. Once this is done, open another chat and tell it that you already have a component there. If you want, you can specify a single component or a whole page. You can then ask it to generate designs based on that design. That's what it did. It generated drop-down menu components for me. With Super Design, these come with animations, which are implemented really well. You can see the design was copied a bit from our inspiration. And this is why I'm saying, the more unique your inspiration, the more unique your components will be. We've used this before, and in terms of complete new UI generation, Super Design is really good. If you want, you can have it generate multiple designs, then finalize it down to one. From that one, you could generate multiple components and screens, and it's going to do that. But again, in this video, we're focusing on how you can do this if you actually find a design inspiration, which is where Web2 MCP comes in. I also asked it to generate a navigation component as well, and then a dashboard. It looks a little off because of the icons, their emojis, but this is better than having it attempt to implement icons based on the image. So whenever you find inspiration, you can use this MCP or the open source MCP as well. I already showed you the results. I don't think the open source version is that effective. The results weren't as good as with the paid version. But even if you don't want to use this MCP, I highly recommend using Super Design for UI iteration and building on top of your designs again and again. That brings us to the end of this video. If you'd like to support the channel and help us keep making videos like this, you can do so by using the super thanks button below. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.